Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today I'm going to play with my gel plate, jelly plate, gel plate. Um, and I'm going to get started and then I'll, and as I'm starting, I'll tell you what I'm doing, kind of, sort of. So, in my Facebook group, we've got a challenge going. And the name of the challenge is Drinks to Warm Me. Oh, went way too much on that. Uh, I'm going to need some serious roller paper for that. Um, anyway, so what we're doing, that's a little oranger than I want it. Um... So what we're doing, just for fun, our journal theme is drinks that warm you. So we are making a journal, any size, any style. The only the only rule is it needs to have a, a minimum of 48 pages, which is 12 sheets of paper. Uh, you can use all your tools, but trying to get some treat, cre cre words are difficult, creativity going. Uh, so I wanted to leave it open and make it just that simple. Pick a drink that you enjoy, that warms you. When it's, well, it doesn't have to be cold outside. You could be cold during the uh, dead of summer. But just drinks that warm you. Whatever that means to you. Still oranger than I want. Yeah. Uh, let's try this. Although, I don't want it to. Uh, maybe I better be careful. Maybe I better start with that layer. Um, anyway, so, and this was a challenge that my daughter and I came up with that we were going to do just among ourselves. And uh, then as we were talking, we decided, now let's go ahead and open up a Facebook group since I've got my channel. And... See if people want to join us. Might be kind of fun. There aren't any prizes involved or anything. But, and what led to the whole thing was, my daughter is new to junk journaling, but has fallen in love with it. But as a rule, we've got very different styles. So, we thought it would be fun to do this. So, that's how this came to be. Well, in case you can't tell, I am going back to fall. My daughter is, was, it not is, was down here and we were visiting it and kind of laying out some of the details for uh, what we were going to do. And she saw some of my scrapbook paper and told me, <laughs> that I could not, based on that scrapbook paper, I was not allowed to do uh, like a peppermint mocha or hot cocoa kind of thing because of the scrapbook paper that I already had on hand. So she told me I couldn't use the one I probably actually would have tried to go with. So instead, I'm going back to fall and I'm doing, well, I mean, and it is still fall, spiced pumpkin. Uh, and for me, spiced pumpkin, I, I drink coffee year round, uh, but spiced pumpkin pro uh, in October and November is my splurge drink. 
So my journal is going to be a spiced pumpkin journal. And what's going to be fun about this, I think, is that, okay, I got to think for a second. Don't let me forget what's going to be fun about this. I think there's, there's something I want to try. I've got all sorts of oranges over here. Okay, I know what I want to try with that piece of paper once that orange dries. I, that is just a pickup paper for now. All right, I'm going to go with this cadmium orange. Okay. So what's going to be fun about it is uh, because it's all left to just what it means to you, like the, I, I'm going to use Spice Pumpkin. I know what my daughter is planning to do, but I'm not going to share it. I'm under strict instructions not to share what her plan is. But I think I was so jealous when she told me, oh my goodness. But like with Spiced Pumpkin... Now, I'm going to have pumpkins in mine, and uh, you know, coffee cups and stuff like that, but it could just be the colors, the feeling, the whatever, and what's so brilliant about the one, my, the, the, uh, one my daughter chose is she could easily just take the the colors that are used in making in the making of the drink and have an absolutely gorgeous fall journal. Anyway, so, but it, it was kind of fun because we thought, you know, people could come up with like hot apple cider or, uh, you know, coffee, your, your coffee, your tea, your hot cocoa, hot apple cider, mold wine. You could do anything with it. And so I'm really excited. So what I'm doing today, I guess this is a long way. I've just been blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. And, okay, I'm just trying to get some base colors down. And then I'm going to go back and uh, play with them. Okay, so I've got that one. So, what else do I want? Is this one about grit? Uh, not quite. Oh, I know what I wanted to try. I wanted to try using a book page just to see how that does. I think I've seen people do this before, but I'm not sure. So, don't want to use the, I'll use the cadmium orange again. No, I think I'm going to go back to the spiced, oh, canyon orange. We'll do a little bit of canyon orange and see what that looks like. Anyway, so I decided... The way I'm going to start my journal, I have an idea for what I'm going to do, and I I do have a couple of digitals, 
uh, I'm going to have to, if I use scrapbook paper, I've got some die cuts and stuff, but I just wanted to play. I just want, for me, this journal is all about playing. And like the gel plate stuff, I am not by any means good at using a gel plate. I, I haven't played with it enough, but that is what I want this, for me at least, for this challenge to be about is just being able to play with the stuff that we have and have fun with it. All right. So now I'm I'm going to be doing the gel plate today. And okay, so that's how and and that's the canyon orange. Uh all of the paints I'm using are just deco art paints. So we'll play with that a little bit and I really think I want one more uh, what do I want as my base layer okay this orange I'm setting aside because it's too bright that's brighter than what I want but hmm, huh. And what's really funny is since I've decided to do the spiced pumpkin, since my daughter wouldn't allow me to do like my peppermint mocha or hot cocoa, uh, and for me it would have involved peppermint either way. It would have either been hot cocoa with peppermint or peppermint mocha, either one. Uh, but since she took that away from me because of the scrapbook paper, I find myself using orange, which I rarely use, but happens to be my daughter's, one of her favorite colors to use, so, or to work with, or to have, or to wear, or anything. Uh, her car is... It's not a pumpkin. It, it's sort of a burnt orange. And that's the second orangish colored car she's had, which I just think is hilarious. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put down some burnt orange. I may be sorry using a super dark color. Well, it's not super dark, but we don't know if we don't play, right? So, that's what I'm doing today, is I'm just playing with various shades of orange and coming up with some papers. Some of these may be so hideous that I can't bear to put them in my journal, but uh, you never know. Oh, I know what I want to try with this one. Okay. So, if you want to come over and join us, please do. Uh, it's Marcy Davis, Junk Journals and Friends, and I will, of course, have the link listed below. And... Uh, now, I'm not going to be walking everyone through the entire journal. I'm just, 
like my video today where I'm playing. I'm just trying to uh, give some, I'm playing and just giving some creative ideas. But because I want everybody's journal to be their own journal, not my journal, but their journal, I'm not doing a tutorial of how I'm doing it. Um, and since there are no rules, it can be up to everyone. Use their imagination. If there's something that you want to do that you don't know how to do, uh, of course, you can ask. And if I know how, I'll be happy to help. Uh Lots of other YouTube channels out there. Search, enjoy, have fun, experiment, play. Okay. Now, for this one. This was the first one I did. I want it to now have... This is going to be my... My, my vision, my dream is... For this to be a, a pumpkin spice latte or cappuccino. Now we know, or I know, at least when I do gel printing, what I have envisioned is not always what I get. So, that's where the playing comes in. And a lot of times that's, oops, Oops, oops. Should have cleaned that plate off. That's all right. That just means some of the pumpkin is mixed in. Okay. And I've got to figure out this brayer. My daughter can brayer beautifully without getting any marks and somehow I'm not holding it perfectly I think it's when I'm setting it down all right enough of that My roll-off page is going to be a piece of work in itself. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to use this sponge and see if I can make almost a foamy. We'll see how that comes out. And then just like you see at some of the coffee shops, I'm going to use this end of my paintbrush and see if I can make a little heart in it. All right. Let's see what this does. As I said, I am truly just playing. Which is why you may see some in my finished journal. You may not see some in my finished journal. But it does my heart good just to be able to play. Okay, well, not quite what I was hoping for, but I would leave definitely leave the heart out. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, I really kind of like the, just the kind of spotty, foamy thing. I think that part worked. The heart was a disaster. But, okay, so let's set that aside and let it dry, and we'll think about that for a minute. And then, for this one, first, oh, I ended up with two roller papers. Huh. Let's see if we've got anything left here to pick up. Ah, that didn't come up. Okay. So, for this one, I think what I want to try is... Okay, that was the cadmium orange. Let's do... Okay, cadmium orange. I want something... A little darker, I think. All right, let's go with the burnt orange. Is that... No, actually, what I... I got to think about this. What I probably actually want is a little lighter. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Spiced Pumpkin. All right. And as I've said, I have really no clue what I'm doing on this. I mean... So do not use me, do not use this as a tutorial for how to jelly plate. I bet that heart's going to show back up. Okay, then I've got this pumpkin stamp. And... I am going to somewhat randomly stamp it around. I'm pretty sure you can't see it, but I love the way it looks on, that the stamp is coming out on the, uh, white paper I'm putting it on. I'll show you in just a second. See, made a perfect acrylic paint impression. Okay. Now let's see what it does when we do this. And of course, I didn't get it on there straight, but that's okay. I 
Now, one thing I will say about gel prints, and I don't really know how uh, other people, I, I think some people use it directly in their journals. And I think I would, if I were making tags or journal cards, basically ephemera. But as journal pages, I would be a little concerned about the acrylic sticking. Uh, so if I, for pages, I think I would scan it and then use a printout. And the pumpkins show up not at all. Not at all. Okay. So, what did I do wrong? I probably should have had a lighter color underneath with a darker color over, maybe, as opposed to trying to do it the other way, which is, is something I was afraid of, or not afraid of, but you know what I mean. Let's let's try the same thing again since I wasn't really happy with my uh heart. Let's just go over it. So if anybody in the Facebook group is good at gel printing, please share with me. Or if you're out there watching this video and are good at jelly plating, come join the uh, Facebook group and share with us. I know we have some ladies already in the group that are much better at it than I am. Okay, where did that pumpkin go? There it is. Let's try this again. So, I'm going to go back over the heart. And none of these will go to waste because no matter what, the colors are there. So, I can just cut them into smaller tags, use them as bits and pieces, and not have wasted anything. So, I'm not worried about that, but I really did just kind of want to play. I think I've said that about 15 times now. But I want to see if... Nope, that impression still did not come out well. <laughs> well, I can kind of sort of see it in some places. See, like I can kind of sort of see a pumpkin there. But that's really about it. Oh, uh, that's not true. I can see it in a couple of places. All right, I'm going to have to play with that some more. I know using a stencil would be ideal. I just don't happen to have any pumpkin stencils. Okay. Now, that one is dry. So I'm going to pick up any excess with this.
and there's one more thing I'm going to try before I end my playtime with you guys. And to do it, I'm actually going to wipe off my gel plate. All right. I got... This Carabelle Studio art printing, texture printing uh, stamp plate. I don't even know what to call it. Rubber texture for gel plates from Maddie at Spectrum Art Creations. And I've never used one. I'm pulling it out of the package for the first time right now. And I really have no idea see I haven't done my research I really have no idea how to use it so again I'm going to play Can't tell if I'm clogged or I think I, I think that paint has a goober in it. Yep, it does. Sorry about that. Had gum, that was quite a goober. All right. So I'm going to assume of course I put my hand right down in the paint. I'm going to assume that you huh, want to put the plate down and make the impression. Okay, and that needs to immediately go into a bath. I'm going to use this dark one that I did. So, I, again, I don't know how it will do, but that's why I picked such a light to go on top of it. Hopefully the light will just, or the lighter will just sit on top, although everything in my what little bit of art background I have says I've done this just exactly the opposite way that it needs to be done. And I don't know why I can't, you know, I do fine at remembering that if I'm using a paint and paint brush. 
that I should go from lighter to darker, but Okay, so I did get an imprint, but something I did wasn't quite right. It has the potential to be really pretty, but I need to I need to do more research on that and see what it is I need to do with it. Okay, so lots of messes is what I've really got for today, but you know what? I am not in the least bit sorry, because if nothing else, I have some textured papers to be able to use in my junk journal, and it's got some of the right colors, so I'm not in the least bit sorry, and I've had fun playing with you guys. Now i got to go wash my stamp and my print plate before the paint completely solidifies on them. So until next time, I wish you all a wonderfully happy crafty day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.